Hey guys, Dustin here, and today we're talking about the accusative case in Russian. So, it's time for another video in English, and in keeping up with correcting mistakes from previous videos, uh, I figured we'll cover the accusative case in this video because in my last video I actually came across the accusative case and I used it incorrectly and I kind of knew at the time I was using it incorrectly but I rolled with it anyways because I knew that uh, I was going to get my point across uh, for what I was talking about and I did and I knew that I was going to come across it this week to actually learn it so that's what's happened. I've, I've figured out the accusative case I think, and uh, to the best of my knowledge, this is how it works. Now remember, I am not a teacher. Uh, I've had no training to be a teacher, uh, no formal Russian training. This is just what I've learned, and to the best of my knowledge, this is how things work. So if this is correct, awesome, take it, use it. Uh, if it's incorrect and you know it, let me know so I can correct it right away. So first things first, um, what is the accusative case? The accusative uh, works with any noun that is the receiver of an action, I suppose. Um, like you could say, I read the book. The book would be in the accusative case because the book is being read, if you understand. I mean, if you say, this is a book, nothing's in the accusative case because nothing has an action being done to it. But if I read a book, then the book is being read, therefore the book would take the accusative case, if that makes any sense to you. Now, in Russian, the accusative only works on feminine nouns, which is nouns that end in A. So, in this case, book in Russian is kniga, so if kniga is in the situation where something is being done to it, then the a ah changes to u. So if I wanted to say I read the book or I'm reading the book, it would be ya chitayu knigu. But if I just wanted to say this is a book, I would say eta kniga. So once you realize that your noun is going into the accusative case, then you also have to consider adjectives. For anybody that doesn't know, an adjective is a word that describes the noun. So, if the book is interesting, it would be interesna kniga, interesting book. So, if I read an interesting book, it would be ya chitayu interesnuyu knigu. The ending will change just like the noun. So, interesna becomes interesnuyu, kniga becomes knigu. Same thing would go with something like water or vada. You could say something like, it is water, eta vada. Or you could say something like, I want to drink water, which is ya hachu pits vodu. Now remember, the accusative only applies to feminine nouns that have an action being done to them. So, if there's no action happening to the feminine noun, it doesn't change. It keeps its original ending. And if it's a noun that doesn't end in an A, if it's masculine or neuter or plural, then it also doesn't change. So if you've got uh, metro, document, uh, computer, anything like that, it's going to stay the same unless it ends with an A and it has to have an action being done to it. So the noun and any related adjectives will change together from a ah to u or ya ja to you. So that's pretty much the gist of the accusative in Russian. Um, I hope I explained it well. There's a really good chance that I didn't. And if I've only confused you more, I apologize. Um, if I got this wrong, feel free to tell me in the comments below. Um, I'll correct it just as soon as I can. Um, another video in Russian is coming this weekend, so come back for that. And if you found this video helpful, hit the like button. And if you want to see more, hit the subscribe button. And until next time, 
Thanks for watching.